Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Minecraft. It's day two of our vanilla survival series and you may notice my face looks a little different. Well, I actually got this skin in an email from a dude named Josh. He made it. I think he was kind of unhappy with the fact that the cloth ear in our old skin did not have a beard. Well, this one has a beard, but it also lacks the majestic face of the older one. So what we need is we need a combination of of the two that's what we really need so i thought i would wear this for today and then maybe i'll swap it up again but i do like it he looks fancy he does look a little bit better so welcome back in the last episode we built a very basic starting home and i decided today to tear it down a little bit because i didn't really like the aesthetic so here's what i did with the original one i took my oak logs i did a border all the way around and I've decided I'm not really keen on that. So I've gotten rid of the oak logs and then I've placed these bad boys. Now these are new to me. So I'm going to mine them back up again. Oh, that's weird. They, oh, they always stay stripped. Really? Okay, that's fine. Um, but I stripped them using the axe, which is a recommendation I actually got from your comments. So thank you very much. Now with today's episode, I want to continue building but I also want to build like some kind of farm, not like a fully automated farm. And I thought it would be funny because I've not played Minecraft in a few years. I thought it'd be funny to build a farm <laughs> only from memory because I used to really enjoy redstone back in the day. It was one of my favorite things, but I do think now I probably couldn't build for, uh, for anything, but I think it'd be funny to do it from memory. So let me strip back these logs. We're going to keep it completely stripped boy. Um, I like that. It's nice. It's pretty neutral. It reminds me of, you know, um, this. It reminds me of Birch a little bit. Whoa! Whoa, what is that? Genuinely, what is that? Oh my god! Have these- <laughs> When did they add these? No, I got rid of the roof! Oh my god, right. Down we go. Oh my actual god. I genuinely have no idea what on earth they are. Oh my god. I started doubting myself then. I was like, have I got mods? <laughs> have I managed to get mods? What even are they? What is this? Is this a crossover with Jurassic Park? Is this a crossover with Nightmare Fuel? I'm digging my way to safety. That's the goal. Um, because I'm thinking, right... If I can dig my way up here, I think it's just underneath here, I can maybe get some food. Oh, okay. So that's my crafting bench. Oh, that's my chest. So over here should be my furnace. Is it here? Oh my god, that was perfect, right? And then I'm going to cook myself a chicken. <laughs> I'm going to cook myself a chicken. And the chicken's going to heal me. Ah, oh, I've got another chicken as well. Do you know what I feel like? My favourite book growing up as a kid, by the way, was Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's by Roald Dahl. And it's about a fox that has to burrow underneath his house because these three men are coming to kill him. It, the clues in the title, by the way, is actually a fox. And so he has to build these elaborate tunnels under his house. And he manages to survive by just being underground, but only slightly underground. This is how I really feel. This is fantastic, right? So there's my crafting bench. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself some armor, okay? All right, I've eaten some food, I've eaten an apple. So we're gonna go out and face them, right? I don't wanna stay scared forever. There's one, how many others are there? All right, there's the second one. Okay, let's see how we do against them. Right, let's wait for these bad boys to swoop on in. Okay, that one's swooping. Ooh, yeah, got you, mate. Got you. All right, next one. All right, swoop on in. Ooh, nice. I'm not going to be bullied in my own house. This guy didn't have time to build a roof. All right, where's the next one coming? God, if I get attacked from both sides, I'm screwed. All right, here we go. Ooh, Jesus. God, he took so much health off me. All right, come on. Is this torture waiting for these guys? Right, in he comes. Nice. 
Yep. Oh, God, they got so much health. Why do they have so much health? If I can just kill one, I'll be so pleased. Oh, God. All right, I can't hear them anymore, so I think it's, uh, I think it's safe. Oh, man, that was, uh, that was terrif- Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, right. Right, let's wait for that guy to burn. What is going on? <laughs> what is- I'm being- I'm being mobbed. I just looked them up, by the way. Um, so they're called phantoms, and they spawn in if you haven't slept in a few nights. That is a crazy idea, and I, I kind of like it now. I think they're a little bit better than before. Right, I kind of need that skeleton to to die. Can you can you die? Hey! Oh, and he also dropped something for us. Nice. Okay, so here's the roof I was thinking of. I'm just going to go for like a classic steer roof. Um, and that's why I've got these pillars on either side. So I think what I'm going to do is this might actually be really hard to build from perspective. Uh, so I'm going to build that there, that there, and just keep going around the whole house. I'm going to do a corner build there. God, you can really, you can build these up quite fast these days. Although it's going to be hard to build just because you have to keep looking at it from certain angles and stuff. So I've done the first layer and it looks pretty good, but I'm running out of resources. So I might save that for a, a later date. But what I was thinking is I could use some of the iron to get some shears. And then I'm going to go make myself a, uh, a bed because I can't be dealing with this anymore. So my plan for a farm is this. And I can't remember if this is going to work or not. So I want to build a wheat farm because that's like the most simple and OG thing I could think of. But I was thinking if I use a dispenser to hold back a block of water, then what I could do is I could make a long row of like a farm. It's like a long strip of, of seeded farming area. And then I could use the, um, the dispenser to release the water that will break all of the plants. And then I know that you get hoppers and stuff in Minecraft now. Stuff that like you can stick them down and then anything that lands on top of them will go into a chest. So it's kind of like half automated. But that's my goal. All right, let's kill Squiddy Diddies. Man, I remember when squids were added. It was like the most pointless thing ever. Just the update they were added. All right, I know there are sheep over here because I was over here collecting some seeds. So I'm not going to slay them. I'm literally just going to um, just gather as much as I can. Nice. Okay, three of these bad boys and then three of these bad boys. Ooh, white bed. I thought they were red. Can you dye them? That's what I'm wondering. Right, let's get a piece of dye. Uh, let's see. A poppy? Does that turn into red dye? Hey, rose red. Nice. That's a piece of dye. So do you just put the two together? Hey, that's cool. Oh my god, so I heard you can make carpet now as well. Oh wow, that's actually so quick. White carpet. Oh my god, do I have any more wool? I just have three pieces, right. So what we could do is we could put a bit of carpet in front of the couch. But if we're dyeing things, I could get... Can you make white dye out of bones? Or is it just bone meal? Bone meal. Now is bone meal... I reckon bone meal is a type of dye. So let's do... Oh my god, grey dye. And then let's do that again because I want a bunch of grey dye. And then can I dye these? Oh, how do you dye carpet? Oh, I'm wondering if you have to dye the wall first. So if I did that and if I was to... Oh, what? Is it night time already? Oh god. Right, under we go. Under we go. All right, I'm just going to sleep down here. <laughs> this is fine. Ah, nice. Sweet dreams. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So what, do you have like a full sanity system in Minecraft now? Or is it just this one? Because I was thinking we could have a bit of... This is what I was thinking. We could have some grey carpet. Because that's what I have in, the, in my living room at home. A bit of grey carpet. Oh, it looks all right, actually. It's not too bad. Just three, just three pieces, though. It's not very much of a carpet. What I'll do, though, is over time, I'll uh, I'll keep collecting it. I guess I'm going to put my bed... I guess I'm going to put my bed here, because I've only got a single chest there. Man, this place is really coming together. <laughs> all right, let's cook some more chicken in that. Uh, so we'll put some there, and we'll get some of this. 
Now, because I used all of my iron, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a um, a piston. Or I might be able to make a piston. Let's see. Redstone, iron ingots. This might actually be enough. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Sick. Piston. Oh, so you need four cobblestone as well. All right, well, I've got that. Nice. And then I'm going to make a bucket. I'm going to run a little test because I actually want to see if a piston will hold back water. Oh, how do you make a lever? A lever. You need one cobblestone and one stick. Okay. Well, I can do that. So one cobblestone and one stick. Like so. All right. And then that's everything I need. Well, I will have to eat some at first though. I didn't put any coal in. That's fine. Uh, let's put in a few pieces there and a few pieces there. All right, let's grab a little bit of water. Uh, let's see. If I took it from here, yeah, I was going to say that should keep it up. So here's what I want to test. I want to see if we were to... Um, yeah, this should be fine. So let's do a piston like this. Okay, and then let's get a little bit of dirt. And then put like this, put a water source there. And then if I was to get rid of that. Oh, it got rid of the lever. Okay, well, that's something to consider. And then it cancels out the water. Hey, that actually works really well. Oh, man, that's, that's so good. I'm going to build it here. Why not? This might be a little bit too dry for it. That's the only problem. I know what I can do, though. If I was to do this downwards like that. This isn't a very big farm. That's my only concern. But if I was to go... I'm going to fix this dry water source in a minute. But I have to till that and do this. Like so. So till, till. And then I could get a little bit more water. I could put the water like this. And then if I put a hopper there in a chest, I could have it so it automatically harvests everything. All right, I'm going to go set that up. Oh my god. I really didn't mean to do that. Oh no. And it all floods into the caving system that I like. No. So here it is. Here's my uh, my completed set. So what's going to happen is when it fully grows, I'm going to release the piston downwards. The water's going to break all of the seeds and all of the wheat. And then that's going to filter down into another water source. Go into here. And then every now and again, I'll go like this. And, uh, and I'll get everything I need. It's super basic, and I'm going to expand on it in the future. Maybe there's probably better farms out there, but I like this. It's a bit of a concept piece, so I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, here's the um, here's the entrance to the cave that we were in in the last episode. So if I come down here, you can see it goes all the way over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to block all this off like so. And then this should be pretty much identical to how we had it. So let's make a bunch of torches, stick them in our hand, and now we can explore. But which way to go? I don't know. I think if I was to come down here, this would take us... Is that a chicken? How did a chicken get here? It's a zombie! Whoa! But I don't understand why. How did a chicken get underneath my cave? Ooh, another chest. Nice. Oh, it's got lapis in it. So these are completely new, by the way. These were not in the game when I last played. Melon seeds. Are melons still rare? Because I remember you could only get melon seeds from, from chess. You could get chess in this little area, but there was never these bad boys, like, just kind of, like, around. Oh, nice. Got that for free. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm going to have to add melons to the, uh, to the, ooh, ooh, he's a fast one. That's where he was at. Come on, little man. Come on. All right, cool. Um, 
but yeah, because you can automate melons, can't you? Because if you slap a melon boy down, you can send a, a redstone current through it, so you could have like a, a piston pushing it. So every time it grows, the redstone passes through, pushes the piston. Oh my god, I'm a Minecraft genius! God, it's all coming back. Really, really is. Okay. Oh, do you know what was rare? I think I can hear some. Am I hearing slimes? Because I used to hate the search for slimes because I like making sticky pistons. Where did you, where did you come from? Oh, what's that behind it? What is that? Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, there's quite a lot of them. There must be... Oh, right. Okay. There's definitely a zombie spawner here. Oh, man. I tell you what. If there's a zombie spawner nearby, I'm going to automate that as well. Oh, God. I'm actually living out my automated dreams. Oh. Oh, it's right above us. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see if we can turn it off. These were super rare back in the day, too. Hmm. Is this still the only way to get mossy cobblestone? I really like mossy cobblestone. It makes me feel very nostalgic. Okay. But we go. All right, let's see what's in here then. Ooh, that one's got a sword. Is that an iron sword? What's going on with that? Man, I can't believe how lucky I am to have found this. Okay, so a name tag. I don't know what we're naming. Let's block this up. So yeah, you can automate these and we'll do that one day. Uh, a bunch of bones. I'm happy about that because I like bone meal. Some bread. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, what's a name tag? Golden horse armor. Is that a joke? <laughs> like, back in the day, there was a piece of uh, DLC for one of the Elder Scroll games called uh, Horse Armor. It was pretty much like the meme of the... Uh... Oh, a music disc. No way. So sick. So you used to only be able to get these from uh, from killing creepers and killing skeletons. Um, Getting skeletons to kill creepers, right? We've got pumpkins as well. I don't know if I'm too bothered about pumpkins. I think I'm more hyping about the melon. Okay, let's take that and that. Thank you very much. Cool. Oh, man, I'm going to make a massive, like, uh, experience farm. I've just got to remember where I actually am. Oh. So is that where we were in the last episode? I think this might be. It's all kind of coming back to me. Oh, no way. Is that another spawner? I don't... I'm going to fully heal. I was going to say, I want to go down, but I also don't want to... Is that a spidery spawner? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's little blue ones. It's little blue boys. Oh, these are poisonous, aren't they? Right. Oh, I ain't got any milk. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. Now I've got a string farm. If I ever need to start a um a, a band. I've got all the strings in the world. But please tell me you don't just poison until you die in hard mode. Okay. Got to be more careful around these bad boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up above them. They're never going to see it come in. I'm going to place a bunch of torches down, like so. Okay, right. And then we're going to go around a little bit more. Oh, nice. Now, I don't know, truthfully, if you can make a big farm out of these. I remember back in the day, you could always could with zombies. Oh, God, this is great. I genuinely do have the biggest fear of spiders, though. Do you want to know where my, uh, my fear of spiders comes from? It's not like the, uh, in the normal sense where, uh, you see a spider and you're just scared. It comes from, my sister used to have a job, um, looking after a reptile shop. So, it was like a student job. She wasn't a student at the time, but she was about student age. And, uh, and one day, she brought home this giant, giant, giant spider. It was absolutely massive. It was probably about the size of a small plate. And it was in this, like, spherical glass case. I don't know why she had it, because it was only around for a day. And I didn't know she had it. 
So I come into her kitchen one day and I'm getting something out the fridge. And as I open the fridge door, it was on top of the fridge. And the spider just leaps against the glass. And you hear this big, like that. And, uh, and I had to catch the glass because the spider knocked the glass off the top of the fridge. So I had to catch this giant spider with the glass. And uh, and I've had a giant fear of spiders ever since. Because I never had a fear growing up. And every time I see him now, I just think of like that moment of like complete surprise. So even the small ones, they really get me. <gasps> Diamonds! I found him! <laughs> nice! I don't have any room in my inventory though, so I'll have to get rid of the dirt. I think it's probably worth it. Right. Two diamonds! Hell yeah. Let's dig around. Do I need any... We got any more? No? Two diamonds. That's great. Because that's actually enough for the music box I wanted, but not enough for anything serious. Right. Now I've got those bad boys. I do need to probably get out of this, uh, this whole caving system. And with that... I am out of the cave and alive. Hell yeah. Man, I feel productive. So this is how I got out the very first time we went in there. This is here is where the original cave was. And then I've got a new entrance over here, a new entrance over there. Okay, this is great. So let's think, yeah, let's think about, let's think about how to build a melon dispensary. So what I think, I'm going to actually, let me, let me smelt up all my iron and stuff. I'm going to need a lot to, uh, to do this. So I'll do all that real quick. And then we'll build something cool, I think. This might work. I don't know. Can, how do you build repeaters? So I've had to change the water farm a little bit. The water farm. The, um, the regular farm. Because the water didn't quite clear out all of this. Actually, I'm going to need some more seeds. So I'll show you how it works now. Um, right, let's grab a bunch. So I'm going to slap these bad boys down here. She's still pretty good. I like the automation. It's like half automated. So, there's some water being held up by these pistons that are like this way now. And when I break that, the water will then flow down. And then it will cycle it out. And then into the hopper, into the chest. So here's what I want to do for a melon farm. I'm going to build it... I don't know. Do I want to build it here? I think here would be cool. Right. So, I need a... Piston facing this way. And then I need a hopper here. So, hopper. And then a repeater on top. Would that work? No, I would have to be, I'd have to do a block upwards. Okay, so let's do it like this. So, a melon boy right there. If I can use some bone meal. Can you use bone meal on this? Okay, that's fully grown. Yeah, I had my repeater the wrong way around. So, like that. So, my hopper is... Around there. So, two blocks back. Like so. And then if I was to put a chesty boy down here... Which I don't have at the minute. I'm going to have to go get a chest. If I was to slap one of these mad lads down. Bam. We now have a wheat farm and a melon farm. Okay. And there we go. I now have music. Is this song any good? No, it's 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 not great. <laughs> right. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give it a like rating. Uh, if we can keep a thousand likes, that will just show me that you guys are liking what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so that was Redstone by uh, a complete noob. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.